very, very beautiful little herd of Nyala coming straight past us. In the background, a fish eagle is calling. Isn't this awesome? They're not vaguely upset by us. I think this is so cool. Two young males. Uh, three cows. One very small calf. Slash lamb, depending on what you want to call them in the Nyala case. And just completely relaxed. This <laughs> is wonderful. Simon, I'm slightly astounded by this question. You say you were in Addo last week and you saw a kudu trying to mate with a nyala. Have there ever been a hybrid between the two? Um, uh, no, I don't think so. I didn't think it was possible. I mean, they are from the same genus, so I suppose it could be possible. That is a, a really astounding. I've never even heard of it happening. But I don't suppose it's impossible, obviously. Um, you know, it it is possible that even lions and leopards might mate with each other in the wild if they were found with each other in the wild, because I guess they're so closely related that the hormones related to estrus and that sort of thing uh, might be common. But um, I would say that's extremely, extremely unusual. Gee whiz, that's fascinating. I don't think that a hybrid would result, because I've never heard of a kudu and a nyala hybrid. I'm not saying it's impossible, but I think it's highly unusual. All right, we're back with the lionesses, apparently, 